Okay. Hi, nice to meet you. Good. Wilson Morales from Black Women TV. Now, this was such a compelling series from start to finish, but there's a lot of issues, not issues, themes involved that each of you as actors had to go through. Like for you, Joanna, you know, obviously you're dealing with uh, the issues of domestic abuse, mental health. And as an actor, you know, how much stock do you take into the characters you're playing? Do you do research into all this or is it just I'm just going to play the role as it is? Um, yeah, I do a lot of research, um, depending on the role, but for, to play Angela, I did do a lot of research um, into domestic abuse and the psychology behind it. Um, I tend to do as much or as little as I feel I need. For, for Angela, I did a lot. I very, very much sort of immersed myself in as much um, information and, and content as I could. So I read uh, three books, one um, called... Uh, you Can't Run by a lady called Mandy Thomas, um, who gives a very um, a visceral account of her 18 years of abuse um, and is very candid about her experiences. Another one called Beautiful um, um, and Melanie B's book, Brutally Honest as well. Beautiful is by Katie Piper and all very differing um, accounts of their experiences and, and three women in very different lives and in, from very different backgrounds. But um, what was interesting is the, you know, the psychology behind each situation seemed to be very, very similar. We also had a charity called Women's Aid on board with us um, who gave um, input onto, into the script at the script stage uh, when Jack and Harry were writing and then also were fantastic um, with sort of helping me out with information and pointing me in the right de direction of research. I spoke to a few of their counsellors, um, watched a lot of documentaries. Um, yeah, so I did, yeah, I did as much as I, I felt like I needed to, but I, um, yeah, I did, I did very much sort of immerse myself and, and just try and find out as, as much as I possibly could and, and try and build the character in, in a, as truthful way as possible. If obviously, you know, you've worked with Craig before, but when you take on a role like this, do you read through and you've read the script and he goes, is this guy likable at all? Are we supposed to be rooting for him? You know, what was your take on the character? <laughs> um, on, well, this is for Sam. <laughs> Oh, this is for Sam. For I, was Sam. Say, I was like, oh, okay. Um. I was actually really happy for you to answer that one, Joe. Um, <laughs> no. like, um, I to start with that one. <laughs> good. Over to you, Sam. Uh, hey, Wilson. Hope you're good. Um, yeah, uh, that was definitely like a sort of running question for me. Like, uh, I picked up the script and... Um, yeah, at, at first I thought he was quite likeable. Um, I felt like he was a character... That uh, that seemed to be to be doing right or trying to do right by someone that he felt was was in a very sort of precarious position and precarious situation and a sort of situation full of a lot of danger as well. And so um, yeah, that that was something that I could kind of attach myself in terms of likability. Um, and then of course, as the show goes on, we we learn more about we learn more about Ed and uh, and who he is and the role that he he plays in in Angela's life as it, as it sort of shifts through the course of the show um and so yeah I mean I'm not really averse to playing unlikable characters I think when I worked with Craig before um my character seemed to be a bit of a, a bit of a villain or what people might label as a villain um and so yeah I guess uh I don't really mind but in this case I felt like he was very likable until you start reading maybe more of the episodes and, and maybe as an audience our opinions of him might shift or change all right, so, so the question goes, obviously, um, when it comes down to, Joanna, you, you know, a lot of your scenes, people rely on your facial expressions. That can tell where we're going with that. Do you practice as an actor, like, you know, when you're, when you're looking at, as far as what you have to do with the scenes, how do you have to play it? Um, I don't practice um, my expressions. I, um, the way I, I mean, I do sort of rehearse myself, but I don't, um, I don't think of it from the outside. I think of it from the inside. So the way I work is I kind of instinctively feel if I'm in the right place emotionally and I just trust that that will come across um, on my face and that's, that's how I'll represent the character. Um, I think as soon as you start thinking about how you look, whether it's about uh you know how you're 
how you're coming across or anything or anything like that I think you're sort of in the wrong headspace so um yeah for me it's just all about being in the character and then trusting that everything else will will come across okay well uh obviously people look forward to seeing it here in the states because I know it's played elsewhere so wherever you go next we'll be here to follow support wherever you're at stay safe have a great day thank you thank you Wilson take care